Senator Gideon. Good morning, Senators. Good morning. Um, it's great. It's wonderful. And we need to give God thanks for the life that he has given us to be here this morning. There are persons who wish that they were still on the land of the living, but unfortunately, due to circumstances, they are not. Also, I want to add my voice in congratulating the young female athlete of St. Lucia, who, in her endeavors, succeeded with a silver medal at the Youth Olympics. This what a project, Madam President, for me, being so close to Denry North, shares for me a very significant very, very significant undertaking. I still remember that persons from Denry North would come over to Denry South, where, of course, we have very few standpipes. When I say standpipe, I mean public standpipes where persons without and are unable to have waters in their homes, get an opportunity to access water. And I have witnessed on mornings, afternoons, late evenings, lines of vehicles from Denry North coming in just to collect pipe bond water. And when the last administration came up with this idea of giving Denry North portable pipe borne waters as close as right in the houses, I said to myself that the time will come when I will drive up the road and the standpipe where they frequent would be free of the lines of vehicles waiting just to collect water to take back to their homes. Unfortunately, the previous administration lost the elections and then we have this project after two and a half, close to three years, is still just about commencing a second phase to allow other persons to access the water. Now, regardless of the fact that, yes, it is now being done, but I'm saying if water is so important, it is life, it's considered life, a source of life. That persons who sit and realize it's a necessity, immediate action would have been taken. However, in saying this, I will still say it's a good thing. At least persons as far as Daniel Riviere Olion, and these other communities who are right now without the use or without the access to the pipe bond water will soon have the fair share. I'm just hoping that everything goes on smoothly, there will be no interruptions, and that these persons, maybe sooner rather than later, will be able to get up in the morning, go to the taps, turn it on, and have 
a nice soothing water born running from my tap that I could sit or stand underneath and enjoy a bath. Maybe in the not too distant future, our deputy clerk will maybe allude to that. So I want to say that it is a very good initiative and um, we want to thank the administration for continuing and making sure that not just signing off on the loan, but making sure that everything is in order, is in place to see that then we know every community and every possible house that could run some length of pipe to the access point and back to their homes will be able to be privileged enough to one day say, I am receiving fresh pipe born water to enjoy my cooking so that my children can at least take a nice cool water born bath. I myself can enjoy a water born bath. And then allow persons who are without to access that water and then to enjoy themselves. So I want to say that I support the initiative. And as I said, I hope it was sooner rather than right now. Because if water is so important, I think everybody should have access to it and enjoy it and to live life peaceably. Thank you.